Hi guys and welcome back to Batman the Telltale series. Now today we are going to be doing chapter 2 of episode 1. And this one is a very... It's a decision that I was proud to make at the end. And it makes a really interesting decision of what will happen in the future. And it's just, it's a very short chapter. But I think it's very important to the story, overall story, well, important to the overall story. And I hope you enjoy. So if you do, I'll make another one. 50 likes. Say about 50 likes. Here, 50 likes. And I'll make the next one. Yeah, there'll be echoey because the camera's not that good. But I hope you enjoy it. And let's get into Batman, the Telltale series. Chapter 2, Episode 1. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, everyone. A humble district attorney like myself is not used to such a ringing endorsement. Even one who cut Gotham's crime rate in half. But for too long, this city has burned with corruption and greed under Mayor Hill's authority. But I promise you, a vote for Harvey Dent is a vote to finally put your foot down. Together, we can stamp out the fire and save our great city. If only Mr. Wayne, my campaign's largest backer, could have heard that applause, he would... Oh, there he is. Fashionable and fashionably late, as always. Say hi, Bruce. It's hot. Welcome to Wayne Manor, everyone. My apologies for the late arrival. Oh, not to worry, Mr. Wayne. We've all made ourselves very comfortable. Thank you. Thank you again, everyone, for your unwavering support. Together. We will change God. Mr. Wayne, thank you for opening your house to us. Now, I know this is the biggest mansion in Gotham, but I don't think you got lost on your way here. Where were you? I know you prefer the brooding billionaire angle. So the sooner we make nice with the donors, the sooner everyone will leave you alone. Just wanted to make an entrance. Congratulations, you almost missed it. You are a pillar of this city and my campaign. I need you here, tuxedoed and shaking hands. No one came here tonight to see me. What is he, the Bruce Wayne, am I right? <laughs> and I can see him just fine right from here. This shouldn't be painful. It's not a kidney stone. It's only a little face time with potential donors. Your face, specifically, with the mouth that's saying, support Harvey Dent. With the grease, they're the wheels. And you're rolling in enough cash and votes to help make Gotham a place for families again. So just put on your billionaire smile and don't punch anyone. I'll do anything for Gotham. It's my home. It's our home. This will help you too, Bruce. Once I turn the city around as mayor, you'll be a hero for funding my campaign. And all I need is a decent slogan. I'm terrible at those. It always makes me sound like a used car salesman. Which, for the record, I have not been since before law school. All right, all right, all right. How about, uh, put a dent in crime? Oops, and you. It's not half bad. I'm going to use that. Bruce, I meant what I said. Together, you and me, we change Gotham. A city free from crime, where children can play in the streets again. That's what I want too, Harvey, but you know how rough it is up here. We have to shake things up to make that happen. Well, we can start with a few hands. Hmm? Come on. I love how it's like drawing a few hands. Mr. Wayne, I'd like to introduce you to Bob and Regina Zeller. Of course, I know these two. Hello, Bruce. Regina here is the chairwoman of Wayne Enterprises, and her husband voted for Mayor Hill last time. I'll admit it, Mr. Wayne. I don't know Mr. Dent from a pothole on Main Street, but I trust your family. You believe in Dent? We believe in you. After all, whoever you support is a reflection on you. And we trust someone like you to lead this city to greatness. <laughs> well, I'm flattered, truly, but... This night is about getting Harvey Dent elected so he can fix those potholes. 
I think I speak for half the room when I say politicians are puppets. Oh, come on now, Bob. I'm not a politician. I'm a crusader. Hmm? No strings attached. Old families like ours should flock together, you know, like birds. You're preaching, dear. No, it's true. The Wayans and Zellerbox are reminders of the golden age of Gotham. Uh, this city's luster faded years ago, Mr. Dent. Look at Gotham now. Murder in the streets, corruption in City Hall, the cake bat freak dealing out vigilante justice like it's the wild goddamn West. Oh, Bobby, regarding golden age, seems you're getting cranky in yours. There's always hope. Forgive me for being blunt, but one man can't save this city. And it's a dangerous mentality to think so. That's how you get creeps like this Batman. Well, I have to say I side with your wife on this, Mr. Zellerbach. Even a spark of hope can light the darkness. Oh, and I deal this with a bank account. He'll be broke before election day. <laughs> well, I know Bruce would gladly spend every penny he has to fix this city. I don't doubt that for a moment. And don't worry, though. I am not doing this alone. With Bruce's help, we're replacing the dangerously unsecure Arkham Asylum with a state-of-the-art mental health facility to help Gotham's most at-risk individuals. It will be dedicated to Thomas and Martha Wayne in the hopes that their fate will never be repeated. After all your parents did for this city, to be killed in a botched robbery in some alleyway, it was terrible, truly terrible. A tragedy like that at such a young age must have been crippling. If only that deranged man had gotten the right treatment, maybe. Uh, well, I don't like to think about maybes, and I'm sure you don't either. Well, Harvey is the one who's been behind the project since day one. A vote for him is a vote for the memory of my parents. You'll have it. Thank you, Harvey. And thank you both. Huh, I'm not saying I doubted you, but that went better than expected. It is a night of ringing endorsements. Hello. Hello. How are you, Dent? Gotham's next mayor is eager to know you. Mickey Vale. Not interested. And reporter for the Gotham Gazette. This is a private fundraiser, Miss Vale. No reporters allowed. Well, you don't mind if I stay and ask a few questions, do you, Mr. Wayne? Well, you can ask me whatever you want at the press conference tomorrow. Actually, I'm here for Mr. Wayne. Well, he certainly doesn't have any time on it. Well, it's all right. We can stay. Thanks. Bruce? This is quite the social event, Mr. Wayne. Oh, come on now. It's so formal. Call me Bruce. Well, <laughs> Bruce, you've been going around pleasing everyone tonight. But how are you doing? You should enjoy your own party before all the champagne runs out. Uh, I'll take that as a no comment. Mr. Wayne, you, you've got something on your collar. Uh, is that blood? Yeah. It looks like. Oh, this? No, it's not me. Just that. Uh... Cut myself shaving. What? The butler didn't help you this time? Are you kidding? Kidding? Would you excuse me, Master Bruce? But, uh, another guest has arrived. I'm sure they'll find the bar. You may want to greet this one personally, sir. Comrade Falcone? Is the Dent campaign soliciting votes from Gotham's biggest crime family? Falcone's never been convicted of anything except being a businessman who loves this city. Excuse us, Miss Bill. <laughs> and what kind of business do you think you do? The one that controls enough votes to get me into City Hall. This is the necessary evil of politics, Bruce. It's in the service of a better Gotham for all of us. At least hear him out before you kick him out. I've only requested to speak with you directly. I don't like this, Harvey. I'm trusting you. Thank you, Bruce. Seriously. You know I have to pull every string I can to get elected. Now I want to just make sure this one doesn't hang. 
Word of Warning, Bruce. Play nice. You know, I've been in the market for a new house. Decent walk up, sky high ceilings, plenty of room for my cars. I think I'll take it. Though the decor offends my eyes. <laughs> Man, all flash, no class. Let's talk privately, shall we? <laughs> I like this guy. Ready to do business before we even introduce ourselves. But we'll get to that. Carmen Felco. Thank you for welcoming me into your home. You're a respectable man, I hear. Bruce Wood. I know who you are. The guy who's going to sell me his house. Gentlemen, perhaps we will be more comfortable in the parlor from the Well, guests remember, I mean, guests could do. You should know, Mr. Falcone, my analysts say we're raising triple with Mayor Hill. To... I don't know why some of the places are off. Um... You'll be fine out there. I saw plenty of skirts to keep you busy for a few minutes. Have a drink, have a talk. Harvey stays with us. A man's home is his castle. I respect that. Seen and not heard. <laughs> what did I say? <clears throat> Mr. District Attorney here wants to make sure the rules are But in my experience, there's the law, and there's doing what's right. You understand? And I'd rather see Harvey actually help this city instead of just saying he will. The man talks too much, traps my face with words. Well, I would say you can uphold the law and still do what's right. To a point. No one gets remembered for staying in the middle. Mr. Falcone, I know more war. I hear the chin wag about politics, Mr. Mayor. Gives me a gesture. I got enough of that as is. So, let's talk relationship. Chalk this for me. Here, pal. I can get Harvey the mess, or I can pull it out from under him. Okay, imagine, this is me, and these are all my friends in Gotham. The businesses, restaurants, clubs, docks, unions, politicians. Why? That's why I can't be the night thing. Lovely home, hoping to make a new friend. One who can help Mr. Dent see the light. With me. Between your businesses and mine, I bet we employ half the city. Now, we've got a good thing going, so I don't see why we shouldn't team up. Yeah, that's not happening. This isn't a deal with the devil. You listen to me, kid. I know, somewhere inside that tuxedo, you understand this situation. Money gets money. The risks, the alliances, the hidden costs. Your father knew which hand to shake. And which to break. I think I'll have someone see you out. Okay. Okay. So that's how it's gonna be. People don't say no to me. Not for long. Master Bruce, your guests are leaving. I recommend seeing them out. We wouldn't want to 
Heed your butler's advice, kid. Oh, and I'm no longer interested in buying the house. The owner's a prick. And he's gonna get what's coming to him. Now I think I made more interesting choice. So much space in the room. This is more of an interesting choice. Because I could have just went for him and could have just went uh, just agree with him, but I don't think that's what Bruce would have done. So.